Generic greetings and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. In the previous episode, we took generic productions from a garage into a very, very nice office. As you can see, we've got Elsie Gregory, Erica Robinson, we've got Paul Simmons, and apparently the uh, the the, the Venet Oasis, which is the Sega Saturn, essentially has been released. And we've also got Evelyn Sutton as well. So everybody's here. What we're going to do though is we're going to actually send on vacation because, as you can see, there's um, some fatigue going on here. If we send them all on vacation now, um, oh, we can't. They can't go on vacation because they're just not... There we go. Uh, and we'll send them on vacation. So we'll send them all on vacation at the same time. So it means that essentially everybody's out the door. And while they're doing that, I will go to um, train and we will have... We've got different book studies you can do. And we really want to uh, probably increase... Um, Go for speed, which is increases the yeah increases the um, research speed. So we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. So once people are back, we will start generating a new game. I don't think we'll go for a new engine. We'll have another one. Uh, boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans have been creating fan game using a lot of the material. They don't make any money, and they just seem to be doing it for fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly suggests we should shouldn't allow them to go on so we'll let them be we'll leave them crack on if they're not making any money from it so not breaking any ip or anything like that that's fine you know that's that's all good we'll get some fans from it that way as well so it's not just me being kind it's also a business decision let's be honest so i'm the main developer uh, i'm denise reed the main developer of the fallout fan game recently we informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us and i don't want to say that i'm grateful thank you um, so the best company in the world, apparently. So we've gained a thousand fans. Yeah, there you go. So again, it's business decision. It's not just me being um, very, very uh, generous. It's just, well, actually, you know what? It works out in our favor anyway, so free marketing. Right, let's go out and develop a new game, and we will pick a topic. I think we'll go for probably a school game. Actually, hang on. Didn't we have a publisher contract for that? Publishing deal. And we'll scroll along, and that's any topic. And I think it's, yeah, it's changed. It has actually changed... Oh well, a business adventure game on the on the Master V. Really? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, we'll go for a new game. We're going to have it as a medium game. We're going to have it as a school game on a school casual game. Why not? Okay, combo. What about an action game? No, strategy game, simulation, RPG. Great combo. School RPG, and we'll put that on. I guess it'll be... It doesn't really... We've never put it on the game link. We'll try it. Um, the game link is good for... No, it's not too bad for RPG. Engine V2. It's bullies. <laughs> I did say I was going to stop this naming convention, but you know what? It's <laughs> Some people have actually taken quite a shine to it now. Uh, hey ho. So, we've got um, some people already signed to these things. So, we've got Evelyn on story and quests. We've got Paul on the gameplay here. Although, I think I'm going to put Erica on that. And then I am on the uh, the engine. And then we'll continue. And let's see what we can do. At least, oh, it looks like actually we're producing some. Uh, we're finally producing some points in the first stage here. Looks like there's a media inquiry. Um, they want to do an interview about our game. So, they're curious about what decisions you're going to make in video games now companies prioritise development areas. Your new game is a school RPG game. Can you tell us whether such game would usually receive more focus on world design or sound? I would say world design, to be honest with you. Um, if it's an RPG. Thanks for your time. And then that, that's like a... It gives you like a little pop-up here showing whether or not that was a good decision or not. So... It seems, well, uh, game design, professionals agree. Yeah, professionals agree that every game development project is a limited resource. It's very important to use the time most effectively. So you can choose the wrong thing and you don't get any bonus for it. But if you do agree to it, you get like a little prop up of fans there. So same stuff here because we're doing RPG. So we don't really have to change much. So we'll just stick it as is. Let's see if we can get some decent load on there. Uh, mark analysis seems that market is normalizing again with no trend at the moment. Okay. So we've got hype level one, look at that. Uh, we can also do some marketing. So you can see small campaign, large campaign, two million for a large campaign, magazines and demos, we'll do that. And what that does is increase your hype, which is good because obviously your fans will go up and vice versa, it'll feed back into each other. Uh, that's decent load, that's fine. Um, and then it means that you should be able to get uh, more sales. That's what it's all about. 
So, looks like we've got decent technology over 30 there. In fact, we're probably going to be trending towards the uh, towards the 40s maybe by the end of this. So obviously, we have to knock the bugs out. And you do put some extra points in it, as you can see. Uh, so we've got design. Oh, I'd like design a 30. Oh, there's a bug. Get rid of it. There we go. And we'll finish it. So, we've got a new record for both design and technology, which is interesting for an RPG. But either way, we'll release that game and we've got a salary increase. I'm going to say generate game report on fallouts and then we can probably go for some research and we'll research better dialogues. You can research a new topic of werewolf game. You can research a new topic of rhythm game. Why not? And you can find your research a new topic of game dev because we already know that one so first reviews of a new release game bullies are in and it looks like it is a seven enjoyable okay if we can get seven or above on all of it it'd be quite good seven good game uh, informed gamer there um eight very enjoyable from game hero and finally we've got a seven beautiful right that's fine that's okay it's okay it's not fantastic but you know seven trending um looks like it's selling quite well there you go it's not bad so there's all of our research there, and what we'll do, I believe, is go for... Looks like level design is quite important for um, this type of game. So additional insights, Elsie, Gregory, Paul, Erica and Evelyn are new to the team. A few more games and we'll have a high potential. That's good. Um, so the question is, do we generate, do we develop a new custom game engine? So it would have to be the G engine version 3 version 3 and we'll have simple cutscenes we'll have better user experience better dialogues open world all of this sort of stuff graphics are the same though i really want to get some better graphics so perhaps we'll we will do another game develop new game um actually should we do a publisher contract publishing deal this is game dev of any genre min score 5 and royalties of nine. This one is any topic RPG. We've just done RPG. I don't want to do another one. The team will get burnt out. Uh, business adventure game, which we could do. Minimum size, uh, minimum score of six. Uh, werewolf action game. We could do that. We could do that because we do have, I believe, we do have werewolf. Um, I, we did research it, didn't we? It is. Yes, we do have werewolf. Okay. Um. So it's going to be. That's a contract. Hang on publishing deal so it's going to be between game dev and any genre or and i uh, let's check the royalties on that the royalties are nine percent and then this one is ten percent royalties but level number six and that's five this is the least risky for me because i'm i i get i need a minimum score of five instead of six i only get one percent less royalty the license is up i'm gonna have to pay a bit for the license but to be honest, I think Game Dev Simulation is going to be a great combo because it's obviously basic this one. <laughs> um, and the Master V, I think it's going to be everybody. I don't think it's going to be a mature one. It's just be a master one. So we're going to call it Game Dev Tycoons. Tycoons. Um... Oh, we could call it Game Dev Tycoon 2. The tycoon -ing. <laughs> Just to try and get off the naming convention. Right. Because we're a naming convention addict at the moment, putting Z on the end. So, Game Dev Tycoon, the tycooning. It's going to be... Um, so, gameplay is right up. Starring quests read down, engine up a bit. So... About that, I would say. So, gameplay, let's put Erica on that. Uh, engine, we do need to put someone who's good at the engine, so we'll put you on that one. And then Evelyn's on the starring quest. No, I'll put myself on there, because anything that's extra, we, we go there. All right. I'm trying to generate about 80 research points so I can get 3D, uh, 2D graphics v3. We could go for early 3D stuff, but um, they're not too sure how it goes. Uh, it tends to be quite good for the... Um, The um, what was I saying? Yeah, the the 3D stuff is quite good early on if you get it, but also you do earn a lot of money if you go for really advanced 2D graphics as well. So you just have to think about it. Um, I can't really put Erica on that because she'll be over the uh, threshold, so we're not going to bother. Uh, that 
should do is quite nicely. There we are. So, I'm mainly focusing on A, the money, which is 2.3k, and also research points, which we've just passed 80k. So that's good. That's very good. Number three here. So, graphics need to be good. World design, low. Sound needs to be very good. Uh, world design actually needs to be up a bit as well. So, that is... Better balancing, yeah. Doesn't say whether you want technology or... <coughs> Sneezing. Doesn't say whether you want technology or you want design in the graphics. Ah, uh, we'll do that. For game, uh... Dapper gave Dev Tycoon. Damn it, I have. <laughs> it's give Dev Tycoon. How would I manage that? Oh well. If it sells, it'll be even better. Um, so, bugs. This is about patching here. Uh, come on, finish it. Done. Let's release that. So, new record for both of those for Give Dev Tycoon. We can actually rename it though. There we go. So, we've renamed it. We didn't do any marketing on it, because I was I just forgot to be honest with you. But we've actually renamed it, that's pretty good. Um, generate game report, actually no, it is develop patch for 120k. Um, you will generate a game report on bullies. We've got 1.9k in the bank, which is still not very good for us. So this is give... De it's, hang on, I did change the name! Oh, that's annoying. I'm pretty sure I changed the name there. Oh well. Either way, it's an eight, nine, nine, and um, an eight. Knock the nothings. Even misspelling and mistyping cannot stop it. Let's go for research. We want to be 2D graphics. There we go. You want to research a new topic of airplane, and you want to research a new topic of movies, perhaps? Yeah, why not? So an event announced the much anticipated success to the popular Tez console. It's the greatest console ever built, comes with a state of the art 16 bit graphics. Excellent! Excellent. Maybe the way they developed it is by just going over to my shelf on the right hand side there and picking it off and go, where'd you get this? Nothing. I mean, to be fair, as you saw, I did have a DeLorean in my uh, garage, so. Mmm. How did I get it? <laughs> Bluebit Games, the game meets the required ratings. We're looking forward to business in the future. So that's good. Um, you would think their ma their department would uh, be able to change the spelling. Uh, graphics seem to be quite important for that type of game, for uh, bullies. Fine. And it looks like we completed the movies. Um, research, so... This is news. I love companies like Generic Productions. They don't milk their customers with more money. That's good. So that's researched, that's researched, and lots of surprise waiting for you and give Dev Tycoon the tycooning. The attentions to details and the core gameplay has really paid off. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as game. Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so we will develop, create a custom engine. Uh, we'll go for 2D Graphics V3. As you can see, we can actually put pre other engine stuff in there as well. So you can see, right, do I want to pick more than one? It means that if you use this engine, you can still put the lower graphics in, but um, it costs you when you're putting the engine in. It takes more time, and also, I just use an older engine. So it's going to be the G Engine version 3. It's called the GV Engine, because I put a V in No, it's not. Uh, and we'll create this. My biggest bugbear with the game, there's two of them actually, um, I'll show you. The first one is, I can't actually show you, oh well. Um, the first one is that when you get new research, you don't, you can't patch it into the engine. So if you get save games or joystick support, you can't patch that in an engine. You have to create a brand new engine from scratch. That's not how it works. Um, also, when you develop a new game, you can see you pick your topic. And because I've never done rhythm games or UFO in my previous playthroughs, I don't really get this experience stuff. So these ones I'm completely blind on, which is really annoying. Which is, that's what the game was like to start with, which is yeah, intolerable. Develop new game, we're going to go for, I think, we've had game dev. We'll do a sci-fi action game, I think. And we'll have the action game on... Um, what's a good action game? The Venet Oasis will probably be quite good, and we haven't made it. We haven't put something on that, so why don't we do that? We'll put a, we'll put one on this. Um, 
and we'll have a game engine of v3. Medium game, we'll have it as everybody, and we'll have it as uh, sci-fi. Alien Blaster. Blaster. It's Blaster! It's Blaster! And we'll have V3 graphics. Here we go. Obviously, this is going to cost us quite a bit. Ah, oh, perfect. Just as I start researching this, everybody gets really, really tired. Our stats become fatigued. Hey ho. Better user experience on there, and we'll have to worry about this. So, the engine, LC. Gameplay, Erica, and then I'm on the starring quest. That's fine. We'll have simple cutscenes in there. And as you can see now, we're getting um, some load problems here. So, that says 50% starring quest. You can't then fill it with everything. It's based on, like, the... It's based on the team size and things like that. But let's just see what we can do. We shouldn't have any problems putting all of the technology in this because it is it is still relatively small. Eventually, you'll have like uh, triple desks uh, with loads of people on it. Better dialogues, level editor, we'll have all of that. That is decent load and the assignment isn't too bad, although I think I'll put um, Erica on that one. I'll take that one and LC for level design, we're going to put... Probably Evelyn on that one. There we are. There's different skills of thought. Sometimes you put more people on to the development stages and max them out and then don't use them. Some people say you balance it all until the end. So it looks like Give Dev Tycooning. Uh, game. game Give Dev Tycoon 2 the Tycooning is now off the market, sold over 2 million units and made over 2 millions worth of revenue. Whether or not I saw all of that, I don't know. Um, either way, that is decent world, mono sound, open world, and the load's okay, but to be honest with you, it seems to me that we don't really need, we probably want to load this a bit better, so Paul perhaps on the graphics, um, Evelyn on the t sound, eh, that's, uh, actually I'll put myself on the graphics, why not, and you can do that one, yeah, that's about right get some more designs. Very, very technologically advanced uh, piece of kit, this thing, as you can see. But uh, design, not so much. So we're making crisis, essentially. <laughs> very, very technologically advanced. A gameplay is actually crisis. I enjoy crisis. I'm not going to knock crisis. I was okay. Uh, we'll just uh, get rid of that bug and then we will release it. So it's going to be a new record for both of these. Very, very good. So it's a bonus. New topic, new combo and good management. Good management is the bonus for not having anyone over 100% load. And then as soon as that is released, um, new research available. There you go. I'm going to click on each one of these and say you. Hang on. Looks like the reviews are coming in, and oh, that was trending high for a moment. Eight by Star Games, nine by Informed Gamer, nine by Game Hero, and nine by Outstanding Game. Uh, let's send on vacation, send on vacation, send on vacation, and finally send on vacation. You can. Oh, looks like the. Ah. Oh, Right, this is a sort of, a bit of an in-game joke, really. So this is, the media is abuzz with a new year's entertainment conference. It's a surprise announcement. Vorney, a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype called the Play System, okay? And as soon as I click OK, it's going to pop up a day later and it'll be cancelled. Here we go. And there you go. Pops up again to say, oh, it's now been cancelled. <laughs> um, I don't know the exact history of it. But the the Sony and Nintendo console, which you can actually see uh, working, if you go to if you if you go to the Ben Heck show, um, you can see him uh, and others repairing it and getting work. And it's been on other places as well. But that's where I, I first uh, saw the actual physical console. But it was developed by Sony and Nintendo, and then they went to a meeting, and then I think like the the the, the higher ups had a bit of an argument or a falling out or a clash of something and then it was just cancelled the next day. Uh, and then Sony went on to make the PlayStation, which obviously worked out quite well for them. Um, anyway, so it looks like the Alien Blaster is selling. Oh, very well. Look at that. Very, very well indeed. 3.3 million. So we've released... Uh, well, we've got a game report of Give Dev Tycoon 2, the tycooning. So dialogue seems not important. Uh, platform match for Master V and Simulation is okay. And a platform match for Master V and everybody is great. Okay, so we'll go for a new game. 
and we will pick a topic of werewolf and we'll have it as an RPG because that sounds pretty cool and RPGs are good on PC and we'll have our game engine v3 medium game mature mature game so it's gonna be um, werewolf the apoc uh, no 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 that, I, th I think I think uh, white wolf would probably see me it's gonna be werewolves, isn't it? <laughs> it's easy. You just type it in, and done. I've just realised actually, you can see trees out there, but then we can't see it around here. <gasps> We're in a box of our own making, right? Okay, max out the story. Don't need engine gameplay needs to be quite high. All of that on there. So we'll have as story and quest. We need very good design here. So our highest design is going to be on that gameplay again. Put our highest designer on that. Actually, the highest designer is me. So I'm going to do that one. You can do that one, and then the engine is going to be great. Oh, Elsie. There we go. Okay, develop. Uh, 103 research points as well. You do actually get later on, like, research um, stations. I like the earlier parts of the game. I do actually prefer the earlier parts of the game, this sort of level. Later on, you get, like, different uh, research systems and stuff, which is very cool, but it's a real nightmare to manage. So I want to do the... AI, I want to have the dialogues done by probably Evelyn and Paul can do the level design. Yes, that's it. Um, I know the one of the most overpowered things. Oh, strong audience is actually mature, and we're developing mature games, so hopefully that'll keep trending until we, uh, we've, we've done that one. Uh, Tez is no longer supported. You've released one game for the platform. There you go. That's good. And finally, world design. Sound will reduce to there, and graphics. Actually, no, because sound you do need a bit of, so we'll have it as that. So, Evelyn's on there. We don't want that. We want... Probably put them on there, them on there, and then I'll do that. And then good lord balancing once more. Right. Let's see how that works out. Ah, uh, Mark's just normalized. Damn it. If, that would have been good for us. Um, actually, before we do anything else, let's mark it. Uh, small campaign. Half a million. But I think it's worth it. And then let's get rid of the bugs. Alien blasts off the market, sold 200,000 units, and we generated 2.2 million in sales. Yeah, so you can see the difference there. The last game we did gave Dev Tycoon the tycooning. We sold over 2 million copies, or rather, we didn't. It sold 2 million copies. We didn't sell it. The publisher sold it, which is why we made 2 million, or there or thereabouts, whatever it was, might be 3 billion, I can't remember. But either way, it was about the same amount as this, but for much more units sold because we only get a percentage of it. This this one was a self-published one, so we've got over 2 million in sales. That's why. And look, oh, there's a bug. Finish. Finish. Right. Let's see what this is like. So, new record in design. This is good. Uh, new topic, new combo, and good management will release the game. So, more experience there, and we can now do multiplayer and day-night cycles. So we're going to do a game report of Alien Blaster. You can... We haven't trained them, which we should really start doing training, so let's do that. So their technology is quite high, so we want to do someone... We'll do for coding complete, 50, 5 research points, 15k. You can train, and you're going to be the same. You on the other side. Looks like the first reviews for Werewolves is in, which is 8. Very good. If you click more, by the way, click faster, it actually makes it speed up. Can you see that? Enjoy by Inform Gamer 8, RPGs work well on PC, and they're focused on world design, save this game, or serve this game very well, all games, fantastic. Okay, so you train, and we want you good for design, you want to train, good for design, and let's see how this works. So, it's selling, not as much as I would like, although that's quite decent, that is quite decent in fact, no, oh, that's fine, I thought it was a lot lower than it was, but no, that's, that's... That's doing okay. Okay, so there is our final re research. Re gameplay seems to be quite important, and also uh, we should try to focus our time and team on the development of a game. Ah, so if you have someone that isn't, it hasn't done anything, you actually get a negative on that. Ah, okay. So, we now have multiplayer, we now have day-night cycle, and all that sort of thing. So I think we will probably 
make a new engine. We have enough money to do so. So train, actually no, sorry, uh, research, character progression, research, day-night cycle, research, better AI, and then we might even do 3D graphics because why, why not? Come on, are you still researching? There we go. They're still training. And there we are. And then finally, research, new game topic, time travel. Ooh, that'd be quite cool. A lot of these ones I haven't done. So we're going to research once more. New topic, military sim. Oh, how about we do... Um, do a life game, whatever that, that's what it wants, a life game, no idea. How about we make a new engine with all this new technology we've just researched. And we'll just wait for it all to be done first. There's military. Life, 3D graphics. Okay, so create a custom engine. This is going to be the G Engine version 4. And it's going to have 2D graphics, V3, and 3D graphics in it. Multiplayer, character progression, better AI, day night cycle, and. We could put that in there. No, we're not. So it's going to take a while to do this one. Um, ooh, yeah, 2.8 million, actually. Maybe a mistake to do this at this point. Oh, no, we should be all right. Well, it looks like uh, the werewolf is off the market. Didn't generate as much as the last game, actually, which is a surprise. Oh, well. So we're developing this quite quickly. And what we'll do, once we've got this, we're going to have a 3D multiplayer shooter. So, uh, I have enough for security, and I think I could easily do with some security upgrades in the office. Um... Investment 50k will be a lot safer. Yeah, invest. Yeah, too right. It's no money really compared to what we were using here. New game engine is complete. And I think I'm going to leave it there. So, next episode we will develop our new game. And it'll be a modern military shooter. So it'll be like armors, the battlefields, things like that. And hopefully we'll actually make a lot of money. Because we're still trending around that 2 to 3 million mark. Which is not really putting us really into the safe zone. But uh, we'll see how it goes. As always, if you have any comments, suggestions, etc. Put them in there and we will go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.